Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to end this. Into this drill remix. The original song is Need to Know by Doja Cat and in this video I'm gonna show you what I did track by track but also I'm going to show you some tips to find the chords and then to put them into MIDI. This is more going to be a Logic Pro tutorial but if you know how to use well FL Studio I'm sure you can do the same thing. Next week I'm gonna take the same artist and this time I'm gonna turn it into a lo-fi remix. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel to not miss a thing and let's get started. So the first thing to do is to find your acapella. You can just go on YouTube and I would recommend to get the acapella as well as the original track into an MP3. And then you just need to find the original BPM. So I recommend using TuneBats. Just type in the name of the song. Does a cat need to know? And that's the one, it gives you the BPM as well as the key. So here the BPM is 130. I'm just going to put that into Logic. And then I'm just going to drag and drop my two MP3s. Create new tracks and that's it. Now what I'm going to do is to put everything on the beat. So here you have a silence. So cut it and try to find the first beat. Put the click on here. And ensure everything's on time. And try to find the best transient. So here you can see It looks like it's on time. And now try to do the same thing with the acapella. So here you can try to align it. And just do the best as you can. The point of doing this is that your acapella is now on time and you can just create your own instrumental on top of it. Now, because we're making drill, I like to speed up a bit the tempo. On Logic Pro, it's quite easy to do. Just click here, show flex, and then activate these two guys here. And then ensure to put it into flex time polyphonic. And now you can change your BPM. So I'm just speeding up because in drill, usually it's around 140 or you can go a bit below like 135, it's fine. But 130 was a bit too slow for drill. So to find the codes, I recommend this website called Codify and it's pretty good. And also you can press play and then it gonna tells you when the codes change. As we can see, we only have two codes throughout the songs and we have a B flat minor and a B. On Logic Pro, I'm going to create a MIDI track. I'm just going to start with a piano sound. Right click, create a MIDI region. So to do a B flat minor chord, I just need a B flat. So B and then I make it a flat. So B flat and A sharp are the same thing. So to make a B flat minor chord, what I need is my B flat. Then I need to skip two notes. And then three notes. And this is my B flat minor chord. Can make it longer. And then the formula for a major chord, we need to skip three notes and then two notes. So three notes, and then two. Let's copy and paste this. And as we can hear, it sounds in tune. Now I'm gonna make this chord progression a bit more interesting. So I'm basically going to change some notes. Like, 
ask me what Wanna know what it's like 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 so just as a simple example, we can do those sort of things. And on top of this, I added a melody line, a piano as well. For the melody line, I don't have a secret. I just play the piano and try to find the notes that I liked. And now let's listen to the drums. So to start with, I got this very simple hi-hat pattern. And on top of that, I have another hi-hat. Now let's listen to this with the kick and the snare. I'm going to show you the pattern as well. Now let's listen to this with the bass line. And by the way, I have a drill bass tutorial, so I'm putting the link in the description and on top of this video. Now for the piano, I put it in reverse and this gives this effect. So I'm just going to show you quickly how I did this. It's quite easy, just right click and then bounce in place. And then you can just cut the track and reverse it here on your top left. And that's it really. Then you can just add some reverb on top of it and some delay and this would give this effect. And on the piano, you can just add a chorus effect if you just want to change a bit the sound. Let me show you. Now moving on to the last part of this tutorial and I'm going to show you the different effects I've been using. The first one is an impact. What makes it cool is this ping pong delay effect and basically it just goes on the echo from left to right. So without the delay and with the delay. And if you're not sure how to do it, you can just click here then go to delay and then stereo delay. And here I put it into quarter notes. And on routing, I go to ping pong. Here I also have some impacts and it just hit at the same time as the kick. Here I have a riser. And one of the last effects I added was the reversed snare on the bridge. So to do this, it's very straightforward, right click, bounce in place. And same time as before, we can just chop it. And then you can reverse it. 
and just ensure to align them with the main snare. Here it's pretty good. To make it sound a bit better, you can just add some reverb. I almost forgot, but I added a filter at the beginning of the song. And I'm just going to show you how I did this automation with the filter. So just go on your stereo out track, the main output of your session. Then click here, and then click here and go to multi effects. Take the remix FX, and now we can use the filter. And now you just need to make an automation if you want to save what you're doing with your mouse. So just go here and change it from read to latch. And then play it from the start. Just click. and it saved it, we can just double check to make sure. Okay, it worked. And that will be it for today. Hope you liked it. I showed you a few things, how to find the chords, how to write the chords, the minor and the major ones. I also showed you with the automation and some cool effects I've been using. Let me know what you think in the comments and I see you next week for the next video. Bye bye. I don't want to fuck all night